Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video, we're going to have a look at my BBSHD motor that I've been running for almost five years now, maybe just over five years, on my fat bike. Um, I've never given it a service, so we're going to see how it's withstood uh, the high power of sort of 3.5 kilowatts, called 3.5 kilowatts that's been, been running through this. So I'm going to take it apart and we'll see how. Uh, see how everything looks inside. I did notice here, I thought initially that there weren't any issues at the top here, um, but there does look to be like a little bit of, um, I guess, corrosion. So maybe some moisture did did get through. I didn't run into any problems though, because I did have everything sort of with extra sort of multiple layers of protection around these wires. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get cracking. So with the BBSHD, um, there are better videos than this for taking it apart, but just briefly, there are six bolts in the top here. And then to separate it, all you have to do is give it a quick smack on the table, a little tap. Um, you could use a rubber mallet if you wanted, and that will separate them. And I can see already that it has kind of destroyed. They use paper gaskets, um, but fortunately I... Uh, I make my own actually. So if you need a new set of gaskets, um, you can get in touch and I can sort you out with those. Um, but yeah, it does look like it's destroyed the paper gasket. So once that's done, you can just pull this apart. So looking inside of this so far, it doesn't look, it doesn't look to be too hideous or anything. There's no major showstoppers. I mean, the motor was still running. Um, I do notice like, that the grease that's in there seems to be mostly kind of congealed um, and it, it basically needs to be removed and replaced. Um, again, it's kind of congealed here around where the gears mesh. Um, so I don't think the grease essentially was doing a particularly great job anymore. Certainly not to reduce reduce noise. Um, the bearing here looks looks to be pretty good. Um, this, um, which is the uh, which is the clutch or the one way um, free wheel. Um, I mean, the pole's still looking good condition. Um, the shaft still looks in good condition. Um, I can't see any any issues or real signs of wear or anything. So it looks like this can just all be really nicely greased um, and put back together. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. Um, there's definitely plenty more life left in this motor. Um, I'm gonna flip this around and we're gonna take off the, uh, off the core and have a look at the peak gear. Not the peak gear, sorry. Have a look at the nylon gear. Um, I can replace it with a peak gear now because we are we are doing our own peak gear at high voltage um, so that's going to be available very soon we're just waiting on the first batch to be finished up with the with the machining so just um, just pausing at this point um, getting this part separated is proven to be a real bugger so what I'm doing is sort of gently gently working it away around here using um, a hammer and I'm just tapping it very gently so I'm essentially using this to sort of gently spread the gap a little bit and then um, a screwdriver to sort of lever it apart without doing damage to, to the finish. Because um, yeah, every video I watch, it kind of like just neatly pops apart. But as I say, this has been on for four plus years through five winters. Um, so it seems to be quite well jammed in position. So I'm gonna keep working away at this and get the, uh, the core off. So pretty much once you've got a gap around it, the screwdriver part and just twist apart and it did actually pop open. Um, the gasket's destroyed though, so I'll definitely have to uh, replace that. The uh, nylon gear though, um, looks to be fine. If I turn this around here like this, like I can't see any real damage. There's no missing teeth or anything like that. Um, like I say, the motor was still, still running fine. There is no grease left on it. There's grease kind of around the outside um, of the hole still, but there's nothing there's nothing left on the gear itself. So I'd definitely do a regoose on that. I am going to pull the whole thing out. Um, whether I do that in this video or not, I need to get the uh, an impact driver to get rid of these. Um, otherwise, you tend to strip these. If I move over to the core, um, we can see there is um, a little bit of surface rust going on in here and likely um, I think I can see it going down going down the outside so likely there has been some moisture got into this I mean I did used to ride this through like across 
flooded paths and all kinds of stuff um, quite often. Uh, the coils themselves, um, I can't see any kind of degradation on the coils, at least the parts that I can see. And normally if you've damaged the motor, you tend to see these looking like, like really blackened. If you've got it too hot, um, you'll see black charring around all of these. Uh, so it actually looks pretty, pretty good condition there. Um, I'm probably going to pull the rotor um, and have a look at it and uh, see what it's like in terms of rust. Because I, I think there are some treatments you can do, but I mean, whether it's actually going to be worth doing or not is uh, is another question. Um, so yeah, that's that's the core. It certainly doesn't look too shabby. It definitely needs a grease though, because um, like this stuff wasn't really making any contact um, with anything in there. Um, but overall, you know, considering I've abused this thing for however long at 3.5 kilowatts, um, I'm not, not disappointed. So I'm going to leave the, uh, the BBSHD here for now. Uh, I've got my family over from England, actually, so uh, I'm spending a bit more time with them. Um, but I'm going to get all this cleaned up and ready to put back together. And um, I'll show you guys the greasing or whatever. Um, see if I can get the, the rotor out. It's actually kind of hard to get the rotor out, so I'm going to have to look and see what other people have done to do that one. Um, it's in there well and good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get everything all cleaned up and examined closely and put back together. But I'm not disappointed, and I see no reason why this can't do, you know, another 10,000 kilometers or so um, once it's all, all back together. So that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching the channel. And uh, hopefully you guys learned a bit about the insides of what a BBSHD looks like. Um, I'm going to link to some of the disassembly videos um, because they're a lot better than the one that I've done here and definitely deserve a few more views. Um, so thanks very much for watching, especially the people that have joined the channel. Um, your contributions are really very much appreciated. So there'll be uh, another follow up to this one and we'll go into a little bit more detail on the BBSHD. So thanks for watching. Cheers.